If there is one phrase that I would have tattooed across my forehead, it is don't get tattoos across your forehead. What's up guys? So the most powerful phrase I've ever heard is the phrase, deserve what you want. I first heard that phrase back when I was in my early 20s. I was partying, I was going downtown, I was drinking a lot, and I was dating girls that were also in that lifestyle and they were always fighting. It just was never the relationships I wanted. And somebody said, it's okay to want what you want, but it's important that you deserve what you want. And that really stuck out to me because I realized the type of girl that I want is not looking for guys that are going out to the bars and the clubs every night. She's looking for a guy who really respects their body and really respects health and loves to live an active lifestyle and loves to eat healthy, loves to wake up with the sunrise. And there are so many things that when I listed out what I wanted in a relationship, I realized I don't fit the bill. I'm not that guy. I do not deserve the type of girl that I want. And so then I went to work at changing that. And that became more than just getting into shape because I knew that the girl that I wanted to be with, she wasn't shallow. She wasn't someone that just wanted a dude with abs. She wanted a guy who embraced that as a lifestyle. And so I went to work on changing those priorities for myself. And it was so helpful and transformative. It definitely helped me sort of reinvent my life during that period. When I first opened the gym, it was a very stressful time. Everybody says things like, most businesses fail in the first two years. And I remember feeling so much anxiety about if I was gonna fail or succeed. And then one day I realized, you know, I don't really have full control over this area. And so it wasn't doing me any good to just sit with this anxiety because I don't have full control over that. But the one thing I do have full control over is can I be the type of person who deserves to run a successful gym? That's something that put the power back in my hands 100% because even if my gym failed, if I could look back and say, you know what, I have no regrets, I did everything that I could to succeed. I deserved success, it just wasn't in the cards, then I could at least kind of wash my hands of it and not know that I had been the reason why the gym had failed. And so I sat down at a coffee shop and I wrote down what are all the traits of the type of person who deserves to run a successful gym. And I wrote down what time do they wake up? How do they spend their mornings? How do they prioritize the things in their day? And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do those things and be that guy. I want you to think about how this can apply to your life and how it can put the controls back into your hands. So if you feel anxiety, if you were to sit down and just go, how do I become the type of person who deserves those things? That's something you have complete control over. And then think about the things that you want in your life, that you want to bring in. For me, it was mainly about meeting the right person and I feel like I was very fortunate and I did. But think about all the things that you want in your life and how do you become the type of person who deserves those things. Awesome guys.